What's up, YouTube? So, I'm sitting here minding my own business, and I don't know, I literally do not know how, but two girls called me out of the blue. I don't even know how they knew I was in country, and they called within like a week time span. One girl was in Jamaica, the other girl I had met here in Florida. And, you know, women don't do anything without a motive, without stra strategy. They're strategic. And I'm looking at I say, oh, yeah, you just want to see how you're doing. And I'm like, all right, I'm just waiting for it. And sure enough, here it comes. One girl says she started up a new business and she's looking for people to invest into her business and help her help her off the bat. Which I was just like, all right, I don't, I don't mind, but don't bullshit me. Don't sit here and say one thing, and then go com something completely afterwards. So um, that was that was that was one. And then I, you know, I don't mind mentoring people, and if you know if they're trying to help themselves, but be be honest and be sincere. Don't bullshit me, and that's what I didn't like about her. So. I ended up cutting her off. Uh, she wanted. Uh, she, I asked her. If she would. She doesn't even. You know, put her. Um, her picture on her WhatsApp profile. So I don't. I don't do. I, I don't like that. I don't like. You don't. You never know who you're talking to. Then the other girl called me. She was from Jamaica. I had met her. Literally met this girl three years ago. And I'm like, damn. I can't believe. It. And she's good looking. She's good looking. And she was like just depressed and stuff. So I said, "Well, um, you know, hey, I could, I, I have, I have, or I have outlets. I have ways to where I can introduce her to the right people to help change your life. I'm big into self improvement. I know how to be around circles of people that will support you and self improve. I have friends. I have a support structure. So I started to. Um, I told her, I said, that's available, but you've got to." You've got to do the work. In other words, you've got to open up the account and get access and do some requirements that so you can help yourself. I'm not going to do it for you. I'm not doing anything for anybody. So then I, I you know, then she never, like, literally, I had, I had her to, um, I had her lined up to introduce her to someone who I knew, could, I know could have helped her, you know, who really could have helped to mentor her, a female, and she just needed some kind of encouragement. We all do. But I couldn't believe it. I said, man, this girl didn't even show up. She didn't even show up for class. You know, so I talked to my friend about it. And he's older than me. Uh, but he's in his 60s. He said, man, that girl did not want none of that shit. She's calling you for money. She's calling you because she wanted some money from you. That's what. That's it. That's all they want. They just want a handout. They just want everything to do. And, some, and let's, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, boys. If you meet a woman like that, just be advised. She's looking for a beta provider. A lot of these women, they go ahead and they get knocked up when they're 16, 18. Then they got these two kids. Then they're 35, 40 years old. They've been around the block. You know, you are, and they're looking for a guy to 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 uh, to take care of them for free. You know, uh, don't be like that. Don't be a beta provider. Go if you go to another country if you have to. There's a lot of young, beautiful women that don't like that don't mind dating an older man. Now you gotta that when you're dating a younger woman, you have to understand that you know you gotta treat her well. You know you, you can't just you can't just treat her like crap. You have to have an emotional investment with her to where you'd be like, listen, baby, guess what? Me and you were going to the airport and we're flying to an island. You know, you got to be that much of a baller to do something like that. You understand? So if you do something like that, this girl has, to, you've got to blow her mind. You know, this guy, you know, this girl has to be fully submitted to you that you're the best she's ever going to get. And if you don't have that from her, get rid of her or just put her on one of like on a rotation. I have a rotation of women and I tell them, I said, well, you, you know, you have a competition. There's other women that want to, you know, that want to, um, take your spot. So you better lose that weight or, or, you know, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm not going to commit, you know, time and attention. That's what women want. They want time and attention. So 
just be advised that you have you've got to you've got to be on your A game for these women. They uh, the the sexual market it's it's a blood sport. It's brutal, brutal man. If you don't do it right, you'll you'll die alone and you'll die childless. And that's not how I'm going to live. So uh, just pick the right one. Make sure you're not a beta provider. Uh, stay away from single moms. Date them. Don't commit to them. 